everyone, it's Miss Colleen from the Upper St. Clair Library and today I'm going to teach you about ramps, show you how to build a ramp, and then we'll run some experiments to see whether or not height and weight affect a ramp's speed and strength. A ramp is a simple machine called an inclined plane. It is a flat surface or plane that is inclined or raised at an angle. Inclined planes connect a lower level to a higher level so that objects can get to a different level easier using less energy and force. You can see inclined planes everywhere, on our roads, on our hillsides, and even in the library you probably see a playground slide most often. The library's ball run and marble maze are also examples of ramps. For this activity, you will need blocks. We will use blocks to create the inclined plane and to also create a tower, which we'll use in our experiment. You will also need a ball to roll down the ramp. Grab balls of different size and different weight to use in our experiment. Finally, you'll need a material to use as the surface of the inclined plane. I'm using books, but you could also use cardboard. To assemble your ramps, you will want to stack blocks on top of one another to create your higher level. Remember, when building, it is always important to have a solid base. Your higher level can also be something around your house, a chair, a stool, or use your imagination. After you have erected your higher level, you will want to angle your plane material so that it reaches from the higher level to the ground. Now, test out your ramp. Take a ball and roll it down from the higher level to make sure that your ramp is built sturdy and solid. For the ramp experiment, you will want to create at least three different ramps, all with different heights. I have made a tall, medium, and short ramp. Across from the ramps you have erected, build some towers. I've used three types of blocks, foam, hollow plastic, and wooden blocks. If you do not have different types of blocks, don't worry. You can try the experiment by using towers of different heights. Now it's time to test our ramps. As we test our ramps, we're going to wonder about gravity. Gravity, in case you don't already know, is the invisible force that holds us to the earth. It's also the force that when we drop something makes things return back to the earth. Um, you can wonder about gravity and wonder, will heavier things drop from a higher distance, land with a bigger thud than something light that is dropped from a high distance? So as we test the ramps, each ramp, we will notice that we're going to start at the, the shortest ramp, then move to the medium ramp, and then the tallest ramp. So we have, I have three balls that we're going to try, a foam golf ball, a rubber play ball and a rubber ball that is used in a bigger gym activity and it does bounce but not too much. So we're going to first start at our short ramp and my tower is made out of hollow plastic blocks so they're not too light so I'm kind of figuring that one of these balls should knock it over. Let's try the foam ball. We're going to just let it go and it didn't even budge the tower. Just hit it a little bit, but the tower didn't even move. We're going to try the medium ball, which is our rubber play ball. Let it go from the top of the ramp, and it moved the, the tower, but it did not knock it over, and that's what we're trying to do today. So I'm going to take my last ball, which is the larger um, play ball, and I'm just going to think and probably wonder correctly that only because of the size of the ball, um, it's going to knock over. Let's make sure. And it did. So, any 
ball that's that big would probably knock down your tower um, using the small ramp, but let's try our other ramps. Now let's test out our second ramp, which is our mid-height ramp of the three that we've made. The blocks are wooden and they are solid wooden blocks, but they're the same size blocks as the blocks used in the first experiment. The balls are the same. Let's start with our foam ball and roll it down the ramp and see what happens to the tower. Nothing because the ball didn't hit the tower, but that's okay. We can always try again, but I'm going to skip ahead and move to our red play ball and I'm going to send it down the ramp and you'll see the ball hit the tower, moved the tower, but the tower did not fall down. I also observed that the red ball moved faster down this ramp than it did in our first ramp experiment. Now we'll take the third ball, which is our largest ball, and we're going to think that our largest ball is probably the heaviest ball. Take it down the ramp to the tower, and down the tower goes. So the biggest ball, again, was able to knock down the tower, and the ball even moved a little bit faster because the ramp was higher. So now we'll finish up our ramp activity by testing out the ramp that is at the highest angle to the ground using the blocks that are the heaviest. Even though these blocks are made out of foam, they are the heaviest of the three that I use today. So we'll really see if a, maybe a smaller ball can knock it down even though we're rolling it down a ramp but it's at a higher angle. So that's what we're going to see. But of course, I'll start our experiment with our small foam ball. Down it goes, hits the tower, is stopped by the tower, but it does not knock the tower down. We're gonna try it with our red play ball. Down it goes, moves the tower, and I also observed that it moved faster down the ramp. Moved it, but did not knock it over. So we can probably guess that our biggest ball will knock it down because it's the heaviest, it'll get the most speed going down our highest ramp. But let's find out. So it knocked it over, kind of did a jump, and knocked it down like a bowling pin. It didn't get that bottom, um, the bottom part of the tower, but maybe we just built it with too solid of a base, and that's always great to use good building skills. Well, anyway, you can expand this ramp um, lesson by using the same blocks in all three experiments and see what happens when you change the heights. You can use heavier balls, different balls. Maybe you have a golf ball, a real golf ball, or a tennis ball, a baseball, a soccer ball. Have fun, and um, I hope you had a great time. Bye.